This motorhome is the Shawson 640 170 automatic. It's a van which won the 2019 European Innovation Award for the caravanning industry. I was on the jury, but don't blame me because of other jurors as well. Right, this one here is seven uh, meters in length, as you can see from up here. Look at that, under three tons, 500 kilos of payload, 57,295. It's got, I would say, a modern design inside, or some of the things it has also, okay, automatic, 170 horsepower, reversing camera. Okay, mosquito net. They've all got mosquito nets. <laughs> right. Oh, central locking. Sorry, that's worth pointing out. Central locking, not just at the front, but this door as well. Okay, so that's uh, really uh, something I think uh, worth considering. Right. Uh, okay, so first thing I'm going to do is see if I get some more light in here, which I uh, could have done earlier when I came in. Let's see if I can find where the light is though. There we are. Oh, isn't that nice? Right, rear toilet. Enormous thing up here. There's me, park for night. Oh, we'll have a competition. We'll have a competition. There you see, park for night. Have a competition. You've got to hang around until the end to find out what the question is though. But I'll tell you the prize. It's going to be a premium uh, membership of Park for Night with a value of 20 euros or just under anyway 1995 or 1990 can't quite remember what it is now <laughs> anyway right good so we've got an enormous uh, storage area here for your clothes a wardrobe uh, that's pretty good I well I think anyway depends if you're living in a van though you have to sort of uh, need ironed clothes and things I think that's a uh, uh, pretty good uh, thing to have right coming through now looking looking down here the bed is up there in the roof so that will descend and uh, whilst we're looking at the bed let's find out what type of bed it is it's electric <laughs> so I can't uh, can't bring it down so we'll uh, because a key would be necessary now, uh, Shawson's manufactured in France. There's another company called Challenger. It's exactly the same thing. They just have uh, different uh, stickers on the outside. Oh, and occasionally different fabrics in the inside, I think. I might be wrong on that one. Maybe the fabrics are exactly the same as well. So, um, now the disadvantage with this, of course, is that your bed, or, or advantage, the, the feature, let's say that's a better word, the feature is in this having a bed which you're going to have to make every single day. Uh, is that a problem for you or not? One thing, obviously, you're going to have to store your, um, your bedding. And as the bedding's being stored, where are you going to put it? Because if you've got a fixed bed, then it's stored on the bed. So that's uh, one point it might be a problem for you you might feel that oh, it's just something you can dare like to have a lie down particularly if you're uh, you're going off somewhere uh, pretty hot like uh, Italy southern Italy or Spain or something like that then yeah it's quite normal that the locals have a siesta when I was living in Sicily I was living with an Italian family uh, part of the time and they all had their siesta during the day. I was the only one that didn't have a siesta. But then again, I was going to bed much earlier than they were. So that was different cultures, what I was actually used to. So, uh, that's, uh, that's a point anyway. But it does give you a lot more space by having the bed up there. You've got two um, USBs, 5 volt, 2.1 and 1 amp there. And what's now called face-to-face -face in German. I've seen this word now used in French caravanning uh, circles. I don't know if it's used in the English language, although obviously the word comes from English. Couches uh, in front of each other. So this is a lounge, isn't it, really? Sort of a big lounge with a really big table, because that's only half of it. It'll, uh, it'll come over.
right and uh, here we've got a really big fridge as well uh, Shawson's a comparatively cheap manufacturer I do appreciate that in excess of 50,000 off getting off for 60,000 euros is not a lot so it's a huge amount of cash in your pocket but I'm only it's everything is comparative you put your television would go up there it's a good place for television let's see I don't know what you think. Uh, it, it's at some distance from this, from the seats because you'd probably be watching it from down here. Yeah, maybe it's okay. It is at some distance, but okay, maybe. Right, the bed here, I can stand up under it. Standing under the bed now, there's me and, can you see me okay? There, look, I've got all this space under it. So, I mean, obviously, if you even one meter eighty eighty two it it's probably okay uh you can't leave bed clothes on it though really I don't think maybe obviously the, sh the top sheets but uh you can't leave your cover good that's an however that was my bag and so that's what I carry my my other camera in and my coat so I'm parked really close. To the entrance but all the same you know last night there okay the, there was there was snow on the cars as I came up this morning I don't know if this is open or not we'll see if it is no it's not sorry yes it is <laughs> sorry 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 and uh, that gives you an idea of the garage cushions from uh, probably one of these other vans uh, there's quite a lot of vans uh, in here you see deep garage there and there's an entrance uh, from inside if you want to get into from inside you want to get into the garage uh, I think you could probably get two bicycles in there I think so there's nobody around 8 o'clock in the morning I'm the first one in well cleaning staff oh gentlemen down here <laughs> All right let's have a look at some of the other uh, models assuming I can get in them because I might be able to get in them and uh, we'll come round here with this this one here. It's got an automatic um, gearbox as standard. A bit dark in here. We'll stick the lights on. I was just about to say that in Shawson the lights tend to come on immediately. Yeah. Give another go. Oh, sorry, press the wrong button. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, I think we'll get them all on, but you get the general you get the general drift of what we got here. Bunks at the back. Funny shaped uh, wardrobe there. Here's a shower toilet there. Now yesterday I was in a van and I locked myself in because this broke. Oh well, that was funny. I had to get someone to get me out. Right so similar setup down here. Okay so it's a very similar type of uh, van only this one's got bunks in the back rather than the, 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 the toilet. Right I'll give you the cost as well. This thing here seven meters uh, 20 and it costs uh, 59,000. Six meter over cab van costing 53 and a half. There's the over cab, six meters as I said, sloping roof down. It's got what's called an easy bed. There you go, they're very convenient that this. Uh, bed can come up and down here as well so it gives you a bit more room when you're sitting up front of this but, but pull, it, it comes down very easily I don't want that ladder to fall on me no I'm not going to pull it down <laughs> anyway that comes down very easily uh, and there's the double bed at the back yeah, I'll show the toilet Oh, and if you want the lights on, there you go. There's the lights on. So you can see the lights coming on as I leave. 
Better late than never. Okay, now this... I'll take you around here. So here we have a... Uh, this one is seven... Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. Seven, sorry, seven metres. Seven metre van, the show's on 630, cost 61,000. Lights aren't on, stick the lights on. Overhead bed, but, 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 singles. Toilet at the rear, shower. appears to have uh, some kind of a problem and probably you know people break things that come here such as me and uh, often people don't know how things work and they'll use force right shorts on 630 oh the, it, this is a, a jubilee offer 40 years, it's like this, there's always somebody who's got the same thing on, it's like an excuse that's permanently used. 7 metre van, 60,000 euros. Overhead bed. Oh. It says king size. King size means you can fit, you can put the, that bit there, goes in here. Two hundred and fifty kilos can go on the bed. There you are. It says this one's more or less seven twenty. Well, seven nineteen it is actually. It's fifty-eight and a half thousand. I'm coming on the back. I'll just turn it off at the back, never mind. Um, another king size bed. Bed up there. The point, I, oh, I've got a really big. Uh, so, ah, don't like that at all. Yeah, so, so anyway, so it's a really big shower in here. Don't like the way the door works, so. And these curtains look horrible. It's got, to, it's got, to, it's got to go somewhere. But mm, I think they look horrible. Anyway, you, you might think it's the very height of elegance. Um, a seven and a half meter van here, sixty one and a half thousand. Prices, remember, are only approximate. You can negotiate on them. You can try and negotiate on them. Now this is really odd. Bed up there. Two sinks down here. The bed will drop down electronically. I think it's been turned on. I'm gonna have to turn the 12 volt off. I don't like the sound of that actually. Got storage under here. I think the bed has been turned on and it's jammed. I think, I don't know. Shower to the left. I mean, it's really, really unusual as far as these things go, but, uh, well, you might like it. There we go. Might have been the water pump or something. Uh, 
and 768XLV, have I been in there? I can't remember now. The door is open. It's got a queen bed at the back. Does that sound familiar? Right, I see somebody. I can't. I was showing you the full range, but there's a gentleman down here cleaning. I don't want to get in his way. 747 GA. So. Okay, I'm not going to get in the way of the gentleman's doing the cleaning. So um, I'll finish off here. This, that gives you a, an idea of uh, what the, the, the show some vehicles. Obviously, I started off with this one here, the 640. Um, I think you can see the, uh, the ones I've just shown in other films in more detail. I just try to pick, uh, pop my, my head uh, around the door to give you a vague idea. But if that's of any interest, uh, please do. Uh, uh, subscribe and if you get any benefit from what I do please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks for watching.